Hello, I'm Matt Kramer, and I'm with Oz Clark and Kevin Zrill. And we are also with Pinot Noir. Um, I think Pinot Noir um, is becoming to be made in many parts of the world. People are beginning to say, hey, this idea is so difficult, we're tired of it. It's an old Burgundian sort of, uh, uh, sort of uh, hand-me-down old wives' tale to try and protect Burgundy. Mm. Um, and many more places in the world are now doing it. You know, people like Argentina, people like True. Chile, but people like New Zealand are really having a go at it. They've got six or seven areas in New Zealand that are de demonstrably different from each other. Quite and you look at Burgundy and say, well, I know you've got six or seven villages. They're sort of a mile apart from each other. In New Zealand, you've got areas two or three hundred miles apart making different stuff. Uh, yeah. I think the Pinot Noir is, um, it's beginning to lose the idea that it's its too precious and mm -hmm. too difficult. I think that's it's a spreading terrific around point. the world. I wasn't going to go to New Zealand for Sauvignon Blanc. Yeah. I waited until their Pinot Noirs were up to par, which they are now and only getting better. But uh, I still, I'm a classic guy. I'm still dropping back and I say some of the best wines I've ever had in my life. The first wine I ever had in my life that turned me totally around was a red wine from Burgundy, and I went directly from Pinot Noir. With Pinot Noir, 100% uh, Burgundy yeah. Pinot Noir, and I went directly from Burgundy, excuse me, from Budweiser to Burgundy. Changed my whole life. And that would, that would do my whole life. Just, just to, to follow up. <laughs> Budweiser to Burgundy. <laughs> yeah, but the big money's in Budweiser. Yeah. Though. There are now 33,000 acres of Pinot Noir in California alone. That is that exceeds the acreage of Pinot Noir in all of the Burgundy region, which is the mother house of Pinot Noir. There's another 11,000 acres of Pinot Noir in Oregon, which has staked its claim and its fame to, to Pinot Noir and makes some very fine Pinot Noir. I think your point, Oz, about the idea that, oh, well, this is too difficult, is simply not the case. The corollary to that is a lot of these regions that you were mentioning, New Zealand, Australia, Oregon, parts of California, even parts of Argentina. It is because new cooler zones than the traditional zones, traditional meaning what was grown 25 or 50 years ago, people are moving to cooler zones and Pinot Noir is a great variety that is a essentially a cool climate grape. You're and, absolutely and right. It's not as rare as it was or as we were told it had to be. And, and people are no longer trying to make it taste like Burgundy. They're saying, no. my Pinot Noir in Chile or my Pinot Noir in Monterey Valley can taste like my Pinot Noir. Yes. The last thing I want to know, is there such a thing as an inexpensive Pinot Noir? Chile. Chile. Okay, okay fine. Yes, yes, good point. Okay, cheers. Cheers. cheers.